That's three eighths on there. Where's the half inch? Hey guys, so today we have this, a Poulon with a Briggs and Stratton 550 series engine, 158 cc, five and a half foot pounds of gross torque. Found this at the side of the road. Why? Looks to me like someone broke the pull rope and couldn't be bothered to fix it. Has a full tank of fuel. I've checked the oil. There's enough to test it. And if I prime it, sure enough, it'll fire over and then it'll die. So basically what that means, carburetor problem. So I guess let's dig right into it. But first let's get the pull rope off and then we'll start getting into the carburetor. Here's the Poulon model number. Just in case any of you have a similar model number, if there's any parts you need, as I'm going through any parts I replace, I'll make sure to show them on screen. Just in case you need any of the parts that are on here. Okay, so let's get this cover off. Should be quarter inch. You could, if need be, use six millimeter. Now it looks like we've got some three eighths to remove. One from the front here, and then two from the back. That one was loose. Oh, I have two quarter inch that I need to remove quickly. Hold the dipstick tube on. There's one. Here's a second. Number two. And number three. I have a shroud. Just left away. There we go. One dirty shroud is gone. Next, we'll get the air filter off. Oh, I don't like how that screw's turning. I think that one's bent. I'll see if I can straighten it. If not, oops, I'll replace it. Stupid hands. See how badly bent it is. Look at that. It's not great. It's not terrible. I might be able to get that bent back straight. When was this a thing? This is a thing? I guess it is. It's Briggs and Stratton. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. I guess that's the original filter that was there. Maybe. I'm going to have to check that in, in the parts diagram. Something doesn't seem right here. Okay, next. I have three eights here. That one's good and tight. Then at the side here, we have a half inch. And that one also is nice and good and tight. Okay, this should just pull away. Let's take this bracket out. This bracket guards the governor arm, or I should say the governor linkage. Take the breather tube off. And this normally comes away, yeah, it comes away a lot easier. Than, see how these are stuck? That's why it didn't want to come away. These, did, these were too married to their pipe. They didn't want to divorce themselves. Sorry guys, but it's all over. We gotta let go. So you don't want to lose these. If these get stuck, make sure you get them back. And when reinstalling them, it's O-ring first, then the retainer. So let's get this spring off. Please don't break. Okay, didn't break. Otherwise, if it breaks, we got to scrap them. There. That arm's off. A little bit of fuel leaked out. But that's okay. And I dropped the O-ring. 
Thank you, O-ring. Now to prevent me from losing this retainer, or I should say this, this spacer, to prevent me from losing this spacer and, and the guard, I'm just going to reinstall that part lightly threaded onto the engine block. I'll just thread it in a few twists and turns. And then, oops, I've entrapped the arm. Oh no, I've entrapped the arm. That's, that's not good. Let's not do that. Sorry, arm. Why don't I want to? Well, I just want to put this 3 8 bolt back here. Just so we don't lose them. And then I'll put the other one at the front here. Take the spark plug wire off and then put the last one here. That way I don't lose them. And as for these two that came out of the shroud that held the dipstick tube in place, I'm gonna put them back in the shroud. So in the shroud, one here and then the other one here. There, and that's it. Then we'll, we'll drop that screw. We'll get the rope changed shortly. Come here, you. All right, let's separate the carburetor from the gas tank. I'm going to dump the fuel out and probably put the whole gas tank right through the ultrasonic. Spray it out, let it dry out, and then put it through the whole ultrasonic. Just get that cleaned out. See how much dirt and grime we can get off it. So for that, we'll need a Phillips screwdriver. Good. Now let's separate this. Oh, there's a screw holding on. Does it not want to let go? Oh, I guessed wrong. It's this one today. Okay. Watch out for the pickup tube. And why this carburetor likely was not working? Diaphragm. It's all bubbled up. Because everything I see in there, ah, yeah, the bowl's got a little bit of crap in it. it. Smells like it was immersed in gasoline, so the gas is at least gas. It should burn. The carburetor was not carburating. This guy was not pumping. So if it's not pumping, it's not feeding. If it's not feeding, the engine is not running. So let's get this all cleaned up and we'll get it back assembled. All right, gas tank, you can move over here. You can fall down there. Only for a minute. Put the elbow and O rings. Take off the screen. Ooh, main jet. One sec, let me let me pick that guy out. First we'll take off the pickup tube. Come on, pickup tube. Let go. There we go. And then I guess the screws can come out. And this terrible mess. Oh, well, the gasket's in okay shape. I'm not going to reuse it. Now to pick out the main jet. Oh, I don't want to lose this, just in case. Oh, it doesn't want to come off. You want to come off? Yes, you do. Okay, down in there you go. Get the main jet out. There we go. The main jet is out. Come on. There. You sit in there. Captain Grossness can go in there. Move these out of the way. So next, I'll move that out of the way. There's some room here. Stay. Everyone can see? No, nobody can see. Okay, so now we're going to dump the fuel into an unapproved container for scientific reasons. It's very yellow like pee. Please don't fall over. Please don't. Oh, it's going to spill over, I think. Oh, it's definitely going to spill over. Darn it. The good news? I don't see any water in there. The bad news is it's very full. Um, that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to leave that for a second. Let me, let me get something else. Why use one unapproved gasoline storage container when you can have multiple, right? I mean, go big or go home. Oops, I made a mess. There, that's better. That's okay, it's only gasoline, so 
If it doesn't evaporate, I can just burn it off. No, it, it, it'll evaporate. But you can burn it off. I just wouldn't do that. Just burn down the house and all that. Once. I'm not suggesting you burn anything. Let it evaporate or wipe it up. So there's the gas can or gas tank. And probably seen better days, but that's because there's been so much gas spilled on it that all the paint's all worn off. So the fuel looks good that was in there. So I'm going to filter it and put it back in. And we're going to put the carburetor through the ultrasonic. We're going to put the tank through the ultrasonic. I've got to figure out the air filter situation and we'll replace the rope. So while this is in the ultrasonic, I'm going to take a break and have lunch. All right, guys, I'll, 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 I'll see you guys shortly or you'll see me shortly because to you, it's, it's, it's just a scene change. Hey, look at that, guys. Look what I found. A red subscribe button. If you made it this far into the video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. I love to read your comments, and I try to reply to as many of them as I can, especially the early ones. All right, guys, back to the video. All right, so that's all done in the ultrasonic. And I must say, it actually came out looking really good. There's a new primer bulb. Diaphragm and gasket. The new primer bulb and the part number. New diaphragm and gasket, part number. All part numbers are linked below. The bowl seems to have come out really well. So let's rebuild this. Let's get this spring on. I don't want to lose that. Spring just goes on right here. Pickup tube goes here. You push till it clicks. There it clicked. Now if you look down here, you see these marks from it being picked out constantly whenever it's been cleaned. It's where that flat side goes. There, nice audible click. Now I don't want to reuse that primer bulb. I want to put a new one in. So this, you just actually push it right in. Just line up these tabs so you put them in straight. And then we push them in. And let me just grab my flat screwdriver so I can push the tabs down. So you can just put the screwdriver on here. You push it in. And then again, and it'll call me a liar. Because that's just what it does. I just doesn't want to go down. Give me a minute. Let me struggle with this for a minute. Six hours later. Okay, I ch just changed the retaining ring. That, that's the one that, that's the one that came with it. I don't know why it wouldn't have gone in, but I just changed it with another one and managed to get it to clip in. It took a little bit with a little bit of struggle, but I got it in. Let's put the screen over. Now the diaphragm. Or, I mean, sorry, now the gasket, then the diaphragm. Now I'll put it on the gas tank. Make sure the screws are lined up, going in the respective holes. Yep. It's actually right in that. Oh, that the bin? Yep. Amazon return for the blade adapter from that video. There. All right, let's just line these up. Here's the first one. I'm not putting them all the way down. It doesn't want to go in properly. It's probably bound up on the gasket. And it looks all right now. Yeah, it's just bound up on the gasket. Let's 
see why. Shouldn't be. But let's see what's going on. Oh no, it's the diaphragm slipped off. That's not nice. It happens. I'll just make sure I didn't damage it. If I did, gotta replace it. It's my fault. But I don't think it's damaged. Maybe it is. You know what? To be to be on the safe side, I'm actually gonna replace it. There we go, there's the new one. And that doesn't happen again. I'm gonna make sure I go in from the top. There. Now we should run down just fine. See? Bound up on the gasket or the diaphragm. And there, just so you can see, I didn't reuse it, it is right there. All right, so that part's done. Put the air filter gasket on. Something just seems really weird about that gasket and air filter. I've never seen it on one of these carbs. Now we put the O ring in. Completely wrong. Come on now, cooperate. And the retaining ring. Snaps right in. There we go. Now it's ready to go back onto the engine. Oh, yes. And the tube. And I totally stole this off a parts engine. So I now have a straight one. All right, let's go get this installed. All right, let's get this part done, which is, of course, the pull rope. This part's actually pretty simple. So we're just going to pull this all the way out. Now we just wedge it shut or wedge it in place. If you have a clamp, they work really well. It's better than it flying apart, believe me. I'm going to cut off the end. Because if you've seen any of my other videos when I do this, you know about what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the two ropes and I'm going to melt them together to pull them out. I don't mind setting it on fire, it's fine. There we go. Didn't think it would want to go that time. I'm going to measure off a similar amount. Because I know right to here is what would be inside the spool. So then I'll add a foot and a little bit. So we're just going to mark the rope. that we're going to pull back through until we're at that mark and that's where we're going to cut it then we torch the tip that way it prevents fraying i'm just going to make Actually, I'm going to cut that little bit off. And also heat up the knot. There we go. Much nicer. And now since we didn't have an end to put it on, Gonna put a new one in. Ouch! That wasn't nice. All right, that's that. Now 
we can take this off and then it slowly refract. There we go. Very nice. That's done. Let's get it back on the mower. All right, so I think this mower should be due for an oil change. Yeah, judging by the color of that oil, I'd say so. At least it has oil. So that's a good sign. It actually has oil. Right. So, okay, so loud noise is imminent. All right, I'll be back when this is all done. So this engine takes 590 mil of engine oil or this many in freedom units. So let's get this filled up. And as usual, we'll go roughly to about 590 and we won't quite put all of it in and we'll check. So let's get this poured into the engine. We'll let that settle and we'll check and see the level. I'll just wipe up my mess I made. Oops. And look at that. We're full. I'm going to wipe it down and make 100% sure. Yeah. We're full. Perfect. All right. So let's get this gas tank back on with this carburetor. Get rid of some of this. Nasty, nasty, nasty. That's really gross. Okay. Right. Yeah, let's get back. That's for the fuel tank. Oh, uh, there's the spring. Hello, spring. You go there. Now, how did the... Oh, right. I'm just joking. I know how it goes. <coughs> so the governor arm. It's only the one hole it can go into. But make sure that it's this lever here is on this side and this lever is on this side. That just allows the governor to control the throttle. Oops, that's gotta sit like this. And get the breather tube, slide it on the intake, and then this spring. Clips in. And this is how you set the RPM, this little tab right here. So to increase the RPM, you pull it back and that keeps the throttle open so the governor can't close it. And to decrease the RPM, you push it towards the governor and that decreases the RPM by allowing the governor to close it, close it more. So if you find that your engine seems to be running a little bit out of control, then this is the little tab that you would be pushing unless your governor is out of alignment and then you're going to have to reset your governor so let's get this half inch reinstalled that's three eighths on there where's the half inch well here's one that'll work you can run it down at least i'm going to get the torque wrench so i can torque that down to 60 inch pounds There we go, 60 inch pounds. Now the front, which is 3 eighths. I 
There we go. Gas tank, tank came out really clean, didn't it? It looks fantastic, actually. I'm really impressed with how well the gas tank came out. Looking forward to seeing how this thing will run. So the next one is this air filter. Now, I don't have this air filter in stock. I wasn't expecting this. I was actually expecting the foam style air filter that everyone puts on in the aerodynamic mode. So I'm going to reuse this for now just for testing. But at the end of the video, I will make sure that you see me replace this air filter. So for now, it's, it's, it's just for now, just for now, I'm putting on that really jank air filter. You will see me replace it. 100% I will replace it. It will not remain this janky air filter. And I'm also going to make sure that this actually is the correct one because it just it seems weird but at the same time i mean this ridge right here says otherwise so maybe this is just a really janky way of doing it now it's just cheap i mean at least before there was a bottom now there's it, it's just open well i i guess if it's making a seal then it doesn't matter but still and we just have three three eight bolts to put in one here there's another one right here there we go got it in there's one more, may not block the view, right over here. I'll run these down now. And then we have the cover. Oh, wait. Silly me. We have the oil dipstick tube. Quarter inch. Throw the, rent, the screwdriver away. We don't need it. Two long quarter inch bolts. One here, one here, one by the oil tube, again, stupid hands, well that's it, this Poulan it's ready for testing outdoors. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's raining right now. So I need to kind of wait until it stops raining before I can test this mower. In the interim, I can get that air filter ordered and hopefully when it arrives, I can put it on and we can test it outdoors and see if it'll cut some grass. Plus, I can also get the blade changed. So for now, I'll see you when the weather's a bit warmer.
right, so that's it. It's outside. It's ready to go. Let's get this pull rope in the right position. And then I guess let's get fuel in. Our nice non-government sanctioned fuel transport bottle. Filtered it out. So let's just pour it right back in. Interesting news on the filter for this thing. It would be cheaper for me to buy a complete Briggs & Stratton replacement foam filter as opposed to that round filter that's in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this one with one of the foam filter, like the whole foam filter housing I have. And I guess just get rid of this one and put it back on the other parts mower until maybe I get another one and justifies but at the same time I can't find bulk packs of this these filters so I'll just replace this with a Briggs and Stratton OEM one with the foam the full foam with the entire housing and all because it's only going to be twenty dollars versus thirty dollars for one filter but let's get this thing started and make sure it runs spark plug wire it's on Okay, here goes. Oh, that didn't feel good. Let's try that again. There it goes, it's running. I'll let it warm up a little bit. And then we'll try it again. I'm going to replace that filter. All right, let's see if this makes a difference. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. What happened? Try that again. Did the wire come off? Nope. Hmm, strange. Wonder what happened. All right, I guess take off the air filter completely. All right, let's try it without the air filter. Did we lose spark? Let's make sure it's not a fueling problem. I don't think so, because I did squirt some fuel in there with the primer, but I'll try some carb cleaner. There we go. Let's try it with the carb cleaner. All 
All right, let's check the plug. Okay, so it's 13 sixteenths, not three quarter. So 13 sixteenths. There's the problem. Look how fouled up that is. Let me get a new plug. All right, let's try that. Champion RJ19LM. That's a lot of carbon. This thing's been running really rich. Lots of oil burning for this one. Compression rings or compression washers. Okay. Spark plug on. Let's leave the camera where it is. Maybe move it in a second. Look at that! Beautiful! Did I call it or what? Spark plug. The only thing I can think of. That's fantastic! Alright, let me get the air filter back on. I'm gonna put the foam one back on. Why not? The other one, it wasn't breathing anyway. It was, just carboned, it was just carboning it up worse and worse. Now let's see if it'll restart. I don't see why it won't. Let me try it. Then we'll see if we can cut some grass with this. Yeah. That's perfect. Very little vibration. I, mean, I know the rope says otherwise, but it's, it's actually really nice. All right, I guess I'm going to cut some the uh, one little grass I've got left. Not a bad little mower. You know, not a bad little mower at all. From not running to finding out that the biggest problem on it actually was the spark plug was way too fouled. Change the spark plug, this thing just fired right to life and worked perfect. In fact, it, it sounded almost as if the engine has very few hours, although I'm sure this engine has a lot of hours on it couple liner things that I need to fix here I'll take you with me and show you I need to replace the hardware here plus the cable it's routed kind of funny so I got to fix that I think I'll leave this air filter on here because honestly there's nothing wrong with it the other one it was way too clogged to use it again but aside from that guys this little mower, I think someone will be very happy to have it. Just gonna clean it up, give it a little bit more of a test as I need to do my rear yard as well. And I guess get it listed and ready for sale. All right guys, see you in the next one.
Okay, well, before I go, I know, spark plug wire off for safety. But I don't really like this. It seems a little, a little loose. Look at that. It's causing the screen to flicker. Huh. Oh, oh, on, off, on, off. Which, which one is it? Which, 